Princess Anne has been discharged from hospital five days after being admitted with minor head injuries and concussion believed to have been caused by a horse. The Princess Royal, 73, left Southmead Hospital in Bristol early on Friday morning. There is no indication yet when she will have recovered enough to resume public engagements. She will remain at her Gatcombe Park estate in Gloucestershire for a further period of rest and recuperation, it is understood, and will return to public duties only once her medical team recommend it is safe and comfortable to do so. Her husband, VADM Sir Timothy Lawrence, said in a statement, I would like to extend my warmest thanks to the team at Southmead Hospital for their care, expertise, and kindness during my wife's short stay. Few details about the incident are known, and it is understood the princess was unable to remember precise details due to the concussion. There were said to be horses in the vicinity of where it occurred, within the protected perimeter of her estate, and her medical team have said her injuries are consistent with a potential impact from a horse's head or legs. Emergency services and an air ambulance attended and Anne was treated at the scene. She was transferred to Southmead Hospital by road for tests, treatment, and observation. Buckingham Palace said on Monday that she was expected to make a full and swift recovery. Recovery from concussion varies depending on the individual and the nature of the incident. Sources indicated Anne will return to public duties when doctors recommend she may do so, but at this stage it is not possible to know when that will be. She will receive rehabilitation support at home as she follows standard concussion protocols. It is understood. She had been due to visit Canada at the end of this week and was unable to attend the Buckingham Palace banquet on Tuesday held for the Japan State visit. Lawrence and Anne's daughter, Zara Tyndall, visited her in hospital separately on Tuesday, with Lawrence returning on Wednesday. He said at the time the princess was doing fine, slow but sure, and that he had taken her a few little treats from home. King Charles did not visit his sister in person, but was being kept closely informed of her progress and sent his fondest love and well wishes to the princess for a speedy recovery.